Okay, this is a very different uh, episode of Phasmophobia Boast Gusters. Today isn't a myth. Today is actually going into the game files and helping others deduce myths. I don't like to go in the game files and look at the stats, but one thing is editing textures. Uh, Gaming Gecko 101 on the subreddit for Phasmo said, I try to follow the tutorial, couldn't do it. And that's, I kind of think, I'm thinking about it. The tutorial is not the best to read. But I think if I can just quickly show you how to do it, and it'll be done. So the first thing you need is the UABE, that's Unity Assets Bundle Extractor. Yep, cool. Uh, and that's on GitHub. That's this one here. Uh, of course, you want to be safe when downloading any sort of program from the internet. And it turns out you don't actually need to extract it uh, and install it. It's probably better to do it properly for your registry, but you can just chuck it in your downloads like I have uh, and then what you want to do is you want to open so these are some textures I've already fiddled with so yes I've actually already had success with this uh, and you want to go to your phasmo so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna quickly edit that out so wherever your phasmophobia files are they're probably in program files steam steam apps common and then phasmophobia and so what you want to go is go into the phasmophobia data and there's many of these dot assets files i'm sure you know that these are my backup files i've made and if you ever have anything go wrong so if you ever have anything go wrong you can just right click properties local files verify integrity of game files i'm not going to do that because one it's updating and two i don't want it to undo my hard work that i've done but that if you're having any problems of course that is the way to go let's get rid of this so you can open either shared assets dot assets resources dot assets or global game managers dot assets i recommend resources dot assets for your first little jump and then shared assets for when you want to go further so for example we're going to open shared assets zero uh, i think we want to pick the bottom one correct me if i'm wrong but i believe that's the most up-to-date one but I'm not 100% on that, but what I can tell you is that it does work. So now we're going to pick a texture that we want to replace. So I'm going to go... If you want to go through one at a time, you got to make sure that you're going through type and it, you want it to be texture2d. I've totally picked the wrong file, unfortunately. Let's try that one again. So what did I back up? I did shared assets one. Because your file won't always be in one of them. This is shared assets. They're shared. Let's pick something that I can show you works. So let's take mail one icon. Because we'll be able to find that one very quickly. So what you want to do is hit plugins, export to PNG, and then save that where you can access that to edit. That's just where I've been keeping them. So mail one icon, shared assets. Can open that beautiful beautiful boy there but let's open him with photoshop that makes more sense doesn't it uh so for s all intents and purposes of this episode i'm gonna change the icon to just be red it's gonna be the quickest for teaching uh, and we're just gonna save this right over it yes uh so you probably would be best for everyone to do slower saving but large file size is fine because we're doing this quickly if you add too many large file sizes, it is going to make your Phasmo get laggy and laggy over time. Then we can go back to the UABE and we can go plugins, edit. You gotta make sure that you are on what you're replacing. It says it right there, so that's good. Load texture, that's the one we want. Okay, file, save. And it wants to save it as shared assets, one.assets, which is what it is. It already exists. Uh, yes, I want to replace it. So you can pretty much guarantee that was a very quick update. So you can almost guarantee that they didn't override any of the shared assets because that would be a larger file than just a second that it took just then. So now Phasmophobia data. I have so many of these that I'm just going to call this backup again for YouTube dot assets. And I like to also just add something at the end of the file extension just in case because some some games do do things like that I don't think Phasmo would but it's always better to play it safe with these in fact a smarter person would take your backups out of this file completely but now that that's in we can hit play Phasmophobia and we'll be able to see the results straight away so that you know exactly what you're doing 
Okay, so we can just go play, create private, change, change. There it is. That's completely it. I know there's been cuts. There have been cuts uh, to this, but this was all recorded in one take. It has been nine minutes and 10 seconds. So that's how quick and easy it can be. If you know what you're looking for, uh, unfortunately, you're not always gonna know what you're looking for. Uh, and you're going to have to extract, let me show you. So unfortunately, the best way to actually get through everything and this is the best way, unless we want to work as a community to catalog all of this ourselves, is to change your type. So now we've got transform, that's not what we want. As I said, we want here texture 2D, not texture 3D. There are some of those, there they are. Uh, so texture 2D, so from check mark all the way down to font texture, I wonder what that is. Some of these, um, for example, there are some that have the same name, or for example, specular smoothness. That's not gonna be really that useful uh, in terms of changing textures. You can give it a crack. I'd love to see what you can make with it, but that's mostly for the shaders and things like that. So how do you get all that? Like, how do you figure out what it looks like? You have to painstakingly go to plugins, export to PNG, and then export it to where you wanna export it. And that is going to take hours. Uh, in the case of me, my computer, it's not the best one in the world. It takes a whole night. But that's all you need to know. You've seen it live. That's how quick and easy it can be if you know what you're doing. Uh, and here are a few... I was going to say here are a few clips, but uh, I haven't downloaded them, so I'm just going to go straight to my source, which is twitch.tv slash megamadx. So there we go. We got Australia as the map instead. Die, die, die in Comic Sans because I'm a shitlord. I'm sorry. But that's how easy it is. Best of luck, all of you out there who want to mod Phasmo. Hopefully it does have a better modding future because right now it is quite invasive and any update could take it all away. And if there's any other problems, then verifying the integrity of the game is gonna get rid of all your textures. But I've been Mega Mad X. I have over my stream. Mega Mad X and play a little bit of Stardew Valley, a little bit of relaxation. Wouldn't that be nice? Come join us. But thank you for watching. Hope that helps you out. I will put a link to the GitHub and to Game Banana and. Uh, Yes, that's it really. Um, phasmophobia? No, I won't leave that. You've already got it. Why else would you be here? Thanks. See ya.